Sure. So this video is going to be like dramatically titled some shit like the the dumb reality of supermarkets. And you know, it's not this is ain't going to be like an essay. This is just going to be me speaking about cuz obviously I've worked in supermarkets for about 3 years now and there's a lot of you know, inside knowledge that I know and a lot of stuff that to me just it's kind of dumb about supermarkets but I'm only going to be talking about the one that I'm currently in because I mean I'd have to actually think and write down quite a few notes for me to do a, you know a, a video about my other job so I'll talk about this one and with this video I wanted to emphasize how management and supermarkets are dumb as shit like to be honest like that's what I mean by the dumb reality of supermarkets. Management is such an annoying part of a fucking supermarket. And just mention management in general for most jobs is pretty annoying. Because a lot of those people are kind of how do you say it? Like there's some people that obviously like know. Like know how how uh what do you call it? how the <laughs> Why can't I think? Am I dumb? <laughs> For fuck's sakes. You know how the, the um, department should run. There's certain ways and there's certain like things that we do that help the department run that management, some management people just don't know and don't understand. And you guys probably know this. Sometimes you'll do something a certain way or like do something first that, you know, might not, you know, you do something first and you do something in a certain order because it either it's either faster or it's just easier to do it in that way but the management's like you know you got to do blah 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 stuff like that and that comes from you know the lack of actually being in the department and knowing what's going on knowing you know what works what the process is and all that and i'm not saying all management's like this i'm saying you know some you know some do some some management Especially in the job that I'm in, they're kind of they're kind of out of it, in my opinion. So this came, this topic came about because, well, today because I'm, it's like 4:47 in the morning. I, I'm a night shift worker, so I'm up. Uh, so today, there's gonna be someone from management, basically looking over the morning crew because. They're saying, you know, we're not doing this, we're not doing that, blah, 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 and all that kind of shit. You know, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. And some of the things that came up, so in our supermarket, in a lot of supermarkets in New Zealand, we have things called markdowns. These items are things that are going, especially in like in the fridges and well, only the fridges because the freezer you can just freeze the shit and last forever and the fridge when something's coming close to date about five days out is you, you know usually the mark you um you mark that i'm down because it's a about to expire so you want to get that stock out asap and also like the closer the date so if it's like five days away it will be more expensive than something that is obviously a day away from expiring because you know you want that item to go out so we do these markdowns obviously because sometimes you know some items not as popular so you always you always have an item that will have um a lot of uh, a lot of stock that's coming up to date so we put in the markdowns but apparently the you know management saying they were putting too much stuff into the markdown area even though that's you know they tell us to always check dates and put all that kind of stuff and i think this came along because in the, like the last couple of weeks we've had to i'll give you like an example there was um we had to mark down a hundred like pizzas it's a brand called romano's we had to um put those all into the markdowns a hundred plus pizzas was a hundred and something because the dates that the boxes that we got their dates were super close so i think it was this was in april so it was like at the end of april 
and the dates were like the 29th of April and we was like the, and the thing is it's not even our fault because the company that sent the actual stock sent us boxes with you know dates with the dates of the 29th so they're sending us stock that is super close to expiring basically forcing us into putting you know putting this stock into the markdowns like we can't do anything else you know if it's if it you know if it's close to the um off date we need to mark it down to get sold fast like we need to get sold fast and the and this happens so many times companies keep sending us products that have super close like super close dates and it's happened like maybe a handful of times in the past couple of weeks especially like the last two weeks like there's a hundred pizzas in that same week no not even the same week same day we had a hundred plus pizzas we had 40 something hams and then a lot of other other we a lot of other items we had to mark down like 150 plus items in just that night and it's not even our fault because we kept getting products from other from the companies that were close to the date they kept sending us this like product and we had we can't send it back so we had to put it out and now we're get now they're saying oh like you're putting out too much and this also happened with um chorizo which is, which is more ham which was today we had to put out 40 because the company's doing the same thing and then two weeks ago we had bacon we need to put out like 50 50 plus of them because guess what the company keeps sending us dates that are super close they're like a week away they keep sending us stock that expires in like a week or two max well, more like a, bro, recently more like a week and the management's basically going you guys are putting too much stuff into there you need to separate it and make this you know and do this and do this and do this and do you know do all these other processes but then like me and my co-worker here like we wouldn't have to do this stuff if the company that you're buying from would you know would stop sending us stock that expires so soon and it's an awful it's the but someone at this you know you guys should be keeping an eye on this shit because like we literally just we get the pallets we put it on the shelf or well, in the fridges and in the freezers that, that's our job we we know we're not the buyers we're not the one buying the stock the stock comes in we put it on the shelf we see that the dates come close we gotta put it on the markdown and they're getting mad at us because oh there's too many markdowns but because it ain't it ain't my fucking fault like it ain't my damn fault like suck my dick bro fuck give me oh you shouldn't have put so many markdowns well maybe you should go tell those fucking companies that you're buying from to stop giving us stock that only lasts a week and now we've got to go through all these damn processes and you know they they're seeing if we're like because there was one time i wasn't I, I wasn't here at this point that my co-worker the same one that worked with me tonight and we, the one that we did all the markdowns with she she the company remember i'm not like i've said in the, where i work at before but i'm not gonna okay so the company basically said uh uh well they thought that she was um basically how do i explain this they thought they um she was making the dates a lot more early so let's say uh the day is like the first of april uh yeah the first of april and um the stock is like the sixth of april five days away they were basically saying they thought that she was making she was setting the date lower like at second or third to get a lower price they were basically just saying she, she was trying to you know scam them in a way because she was putting so much like so much of a certain item in the markdown and they thought oh she's probably you know trying to get some uh cheaper products and all this other jazz when no there was just so much product that, you know the comp that the company the company bought there was so much that they bought that we couldn't sell it in time before the date before the date you know the um the due date was coming along because the thing with 
this company they buy so much of an item they buy so much of it like even if we put it on display for cheap like well cheap prices i say quote i'm saying that with you know quotations because cheap is a <clears throat> bit of a steep word for that but anyway they buy so much i don't know why that but by the time like the thing comes off the display we've got still hunt we still got tens if not hundreds of boxes of that same item with the same date so not only do we have to throw it back on the shelf we got so much in like the back back stock that we can't do anything with because they bought too much shit they bought too much shit and then you you know what happens when the stock gets off you know the stock gets close to the due date oh i gotta throw it on the markdown but nah i can't do that because oh no nah, it's too much but oh you can't wouldn't have to you know endure the markdowns if you didn't stop buying so much stock buying you know buying fucking stock that's close close to date we're not the buyers we just grab the stuff put it on the shelf why are we getting think about like bro why the fuck would i like <sighs> it's so annoying it's, it's just so annoying it's just so bullshit there's so many little things that are so annoying and you know my co-worker bro getting blind that that was such a dumb thing where they thought oh she must be you know making it cheaper so she can buy it making it cheaper so you know her friends can buy it and all that they literally tried to accuse her of basically scamming the shop because she's apparently putting too much ham in there even though it was close to due date and it's not her fault that the company bought you know bought an item that was close to due date it's dumb 